With all the talk of The Last of Us 2 releasing this year in 2018, which I absolutely think is not going to happen, since 2019 is a more realistic release window, and with the fact that Neil Druckmann stated the game is just about halfway done, which leaves 50% of the game left to develop. And with the last trailers we have gotten for the game, I'd like to discuss what the story for The Last of Us 2 could possibly be, using the available information released and the fact that this time the story is about hate. Now hate is a strong word, and this suggests to me that this may partially be a revenge story that is going to get quite dark. As we see in the initial reveal trailer, Ellie is in a house singing a song surrounded by dead fireflies that she has killed, which means whatever caused this hate within her has to be worthy of punishment by death. And when Joel enters the room and asks Ellie if she's really going to go through with this, she states she is going to kill every last one of them, and I believe she is talking about the fireflies. So what could be the reason for this? Firstly, let me just state that Joel really does seem to be quite calm in the reveal trailer, and if someone did something to Ellie, I would expect him to be a lot more agitated. But I guess that was just for the purpose of this trailer. And one thing to remember is that even though Ellie will be the lead character in The Last of Us 2, Joel is still the main character from the first game, so I highly doubt that he will die in this game. His dynamic with Ellie is just too powerful to let it go to waste and for it to be the reason for Ellie's hate in The Last of Us 2. We also know that Ellie is gay in The Last of Us universe, from the left behind DLC and since Neil Druckmann also stated so. So it throws my theory out the window that Ellie had a child with a guy she was in love with and the Fireflies kidnapped the baby, due to it also being immune to infection just like Ellie and killed her partner as well as a lot of other villagers in the town her and Joel were living in. Okay, so here is where it's about to get dark to what I believe will be the cause for Ellie's hate within the story. The Fireflies have regrouped and found themselves a new leader, and have found out where Ellie and Joel are living but their medical scientists aren't so great as in the first game. So instead of just trying to kidnap Ellie, they actually try force her to have a child in the hopes that Ellie's baby is immune to the infection. And if the experiment with Ellie goes wrong, they will have a backup plan, which would be Ellie's baby. The way in how this will happen could be they just straight up ambush Ellie or they send in a firefly to gain their trust and lead her into a trap, which would definitely give someone trust issues and a reason to hate someone specifically. Whatever the case, I believe the reason for Ellie's hate in this game will be the fact that she will be forced to have a child by the fireflies. Now, I know this idea may seem way too dark for the game, but I mean in a post-apocalyptic world you would expect crazy messed up things to happen. And as Neil stated, not everyone who loved the first game is going to like this one. And I believe the dark story this one is going to tell is the reason why, since some players would prefer a video game story to be more light-hearted. If we go back to the first game where we had the playable segment as Ellie in winter, there was also a moment in the a story where a character tried to force himself on Ellie, which means Naughty Dog aren't afraid to explore darker story paths within their games. So, for The Last of Us 2 I believe we will get a story where Ellie is pregnant, as we take control of her from the beginning and throughout the 9 months of her pregnancy, as she takes revenge on the Fireflies as each month will clearly become more difficult for her to do so alone. And this is where the second trailer we get comes into play, where the lady who is expected of being Ellie's mum, Anna, is about to be hanged by a group of Fireflies and as this happens, one of the Firefly's actions of holding a knife to her stomach suggests that she too is pregnant. Now I believe the ripped up stubborn lady is Ellie's mum, Anna, and she too is carrying a baby who will turn out to be Ellie. What I believe is since Ellie is having a child throughout the game, we will also get flashbacks to Ellie's mum while she is at the same stages as Ellie in her pregnancy, as we witness the story of mother and daughter both with child in a harsh post-apocalyptic world, and see Ellie's mum's story unfold up to the point of her death, as well as Ellie's story as it unfolds as they go through the same experience. What leads me to believe that this is Ellie's mum is the fact that number one, she looks like Ellie. She also seems stubborn which is a trait of Anna, she has affiliation with the Fireflies which may have led her to meet Marlene, the leader of the Fireflies from the first game. Ashley Johnson who plays Ellie also plays the face of the character suspected of being Ellie's mum. And also on IMDB for The Last of Us Part 2, it says the character Anna for Laura Bailey who plays the voice actor of the lady suspected of being Anna in this trailer. Also Lev, the little boy says to his sister Yara, the demons are coming, which makes me believe this is a flashback since he didn't say clickers or runners, or any other name given to the infected in the present day, which suggests it was at a time where people have not come up with a name for them yet. Moving on, I believe by the 
end of this game, Ellie will have given birth and may die in the process or sometime after, just like her mother did as she gave birth to Ellie herself, which will leave Joel with a newborn baby. Or Ellie and her child will both survive and after finding out the truth about Joel lying to her about the firefly scientist not being able to create a cure from her, she will then ask Joel to take care of the baby and proceed to sacrifice herself to another medical team looking for the cure, which will leave Ellie doing what she set out to do in the first game which was to help create a cure no matter the cost, and will leave Joel with a new child that he will raise as his own since he found that father-daughter relationship in Ellie after his own daughter died before the outbreak. Before I conclude my speculation on The Last of Us Part 2 story, I would like to suggest how the flashbacks may possibly work since who will be telling us the story? Well, the answer here is I believe Ellie will end up meeting Yara Rolev in the present day, who will then tell us about Ellie's mother which will allow us to have these flashback segments throughout the game and at the same time either Lev or Yara depending on who we meet will also provide support to us the player as we take revenge on the fireflies. So guys this has been my speculation for what the Last of Us Part 2 story could be. I know it's quite dark but I believe it is entirely possible that we may get something along the lines of what I suggested. The graphics, voice acting, facial animations and everything everything we've seen so far from the game looks absolutely incredible and I am really looking forward to seeing more at this year's E3 when it does show. Other than that I hope you enjoyed the video, let me know how you guys think the story will go, thank you for watching and I shall catch you guys in the next one.